Hi everyone, take a close look at this video. As you can see here, this is an AR translation of me using Google Translate app on my Android in order to translate uh, from Japanese text from Japanese to English in real time. Now, I am a tourist in uh, Osaka at the moment and I went to the store because I wanted to buy some groceries. So many of those products don't have English translation, just Japanese. But I still wanted to know, you know, uh, when I'm shopping, to know, you know, what those products are. But I can't read Japanese. So what are my options? Well, I can just buy products that have English translation or just are in English because they're imported. Second, you can just go to uh, one of the employees and just ask them if they speak English, great. If not, I can just write it in Google Translate and <clears throat> show the translation in Japanese. Actually, there's something that I did today. There are other options, but the thing is that this option should be an amazing option, right? You just point your device, point the camera to the product, and then you can see a Japanese translation augmented on top of the video live feed. Look, just look at this. It works in real time. Now, just pay attention to the translation, and as you can see, it's far away from being perfect. It's actually kind of, you know, always replacing uh, uh, the text uh, when I move it around. And uh, I just, uh, sometimes you just translate something and then translate it to something else, positioning it in different types of locations. <clears throat> but the nice thing is that if you can see when uh, the text is positioned, is positioned on top of the original text and uh, <clears throat> Google uses uh, maybe kind of an average color so it's actually you know it doesn't put white on the yellow you can see it just put a translation with a yellow background in this case uh, and of course it depends on the color uh, that, that, uh, that surrounds the text uh, <clears throat> so because of this the text the translation appears kind of natural uh, on the sign it kind of replaces the original text uh, with kind of a uh, color that resembles the original color where the text is located. Now Google Translate also offers the option to just take a snapshot and then it recognizes the text and you can tap or do a translate all on the image. But of course, when you're just shopping around and you want to, things to be like, you know, in real time, for example, imagine doing this with an AR glasses, for example, and just visiting a shop and just seeing a translation of, uh, of uh, you know, of text in foreign language. You want it to be seamless, comfortable, and you know, you don't want to stop every single time when you look at the product and take a picture. It's very uncomfortable and even not usable in many times. Especially, for example, here, I was just walking searching for a sauce, a specific sauce, and I went through many products. I don't know, like maybe 30, 40, even 50. So just imagine me need to take a photo of 50 products. It's insane. This is especially true if you consider the fact that the chains are continuously changing. Uh, but you need to make sure that you align the text properly here. Actually, it works uh, well for a printed text, of course, because the, um, the uh, letters are very recognizable compared to something that probably is handwritten that maybe Google Translate won't be able to pick it up. So as you can see, it's actually translated quite well. Again, it's, it's, it's very glitchy, as you can see. But, uh, you know, overall, it was useful. I'm not saying it wasn't useful. I actually was able to detect what a specific food is and looking about sauces, what this sauce is. Uh, is. Even just seeing like a sesame, for example, I knew that is, this is a sesame sauce. I don't need to read everything. Sometimes I just look at the ingredients because I want to see if some ingredients uh, uh, exist. And it's actually translated that small text in the ingredients quite well. I was impressed. So just keep in mind that, of course, some products are in English, but when you come to a place like this and you want to try out different types of food from, you know, uh, uh, the Japanese, the original Japanese food, and you don't want to just buy the same food that you are buying at home, right? You want to try something new, and actually there's some really nice uh, uh, food that is uh, packed uh, like this one, and you can just buy it, it's for a reasonable price, and then you get a meal, you know, it's something that I consider buying when I went to this place in, in the first place. Now, some stores, uh, for example, if I go to some uh, uh, little stores, I can see those products with some English translation. Yes, but something small that you know what it's about. But here, for example, there was no English tran translation. So I actually, that's why I picked up this app and started using it. Now, there's no standard in conversion about putting a text then a certain popular translation app can recognize, right? There's no like, you know, you just need to rely on, uh, on the app 
that it will be able to recognize the text. Sometimes it doesn't, as you can see here, and I need to continue on. The other thing is that when you come to Japan, for me at least, I see so many types of uh, product that is insane. Sometimes I look at the, you know, here you can actually recognize what it's about, you know, but many products I don't recognize, you know, what the product is. Even if I see images, I just don't know what it is, and I really have to see a translation to understand that. For example, when buying sauces, yeah, there are so many types, and, you know, sometimes you have this uh, image of a salad, you know, this is a salad dressing, all right? But sometimes, you know, you don't, you have something like something else, and you, but it looks good, and you want to know what it's about. Maybe it's something good that you want to buy. You have to translate it. Now, one thing that is easy to recognize, of course, is the price, as you can see here, and the quantity. I actually don't need translation for this because it's very clear. But other than this, most of the things I do need translation. But the one thing is that I thought maybe Google will use uh, image recognition to try to uh, search a certain product to see if it's listed somewhere and then you can provide some information. Now, this is available with Google Lens, but of course, I won't use Google Lens for every single product, right? And Google Lens can do a great um, job in detecting, uh, you know, different products and, you know, uh, scan a certain image and then try to analyze it and see if some information uh, in it product Sorry, it's, uh, it shows you some information about this uh, product if it recognizes it. But again, this is something that is not usable if you're just shopping around, you want to see real-time information, you're not going to use the lens every single time. Now, I'm not saying it, it, it isn't useful, of course it's useful, but the thing is that if it would, would have worked uh, in real-time, uh, like Google Lens, when it scans the images and try to find information about it, it would be nice. But right now, it takes some time, you know, you scan an image, it takes a few seconds, and then Google come up with some results. So let's look at this. You can clearly see how the color fits exactly the color behind it. Not, not exactly, but very close. It just replaces the text, the Japanese text, with English text and with the same color uh, of the text and the background. So it really looks really, really nice. I was very impressed by that. So you see the thing here, screw. So the thing is, you so it's very funny. Sometimes, you know, even if you have a very clear, uh, Google can clearly see the word, the tra doesn't mean that the translation will be something that you can understand, right? Because something you say in Japanese doesn't translate well to English. So it happens so many times. There were so many funny mistakes that you don't understand. I won't say it here because it's kind of rude, but there are very funny mistakes that Google made uh, while trying to translate this, uh, uh, the text, the Japanese text. So again, I'm telling you this was useful for me, uh, but imagine when you was a big database where those you know, uh, type of uh, images which can be recognized using image recognition and provide you real information, kind of a Wikipedia for, for uh, you know, products anywhere. And, you know, you can just get quick information about this using uh, image recognition. It would be nice. But I don't think it's something that someone will do because there are many products, many products get into the market. So millions of products. So update some, updating something like that, un unless there's a regulation or something, it won't happen. And of course, uh, this type of uh, translation is something that uh, can work with any type of products because it just recognizes the text. So I was actually searching for a sauce for uh, the vegetables uh, that I bought and I was searching for something specific and eventually I went to the seller and asked them, I used just the translation and showed them the, even if I showed them, you know, the peanut uh, sauce, they didn't understand what it is. Then I saw peanut butter food dressing, then it was translated properly into Japanese and then they understood and then they went to search but they didn't find so it did it I, even if I, I even if I scanned the entire uh, area I wouldn't find it because uh, this product uh, was unavailable the other thing is that this is not an Amazon store right you're not getting in and ask for example the AI I want a uh, peanut butter sauce for salad and then it's just gonna show you uh, where it is and you can just go and pick it up and you're gonna show it on the set on the shelf 
and the price with everything and that's it this is not a smart shop right uh, this is just a general shop and of course uh, we need solutions for this one as well right because this is the majority right you get in different stores as a tourist there are many stores that you buy not of them are going to be amazon stores or something big uh with uh, smart devices and 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 something you know very complicated it's going to be a simple store in the neighborhood and just want to go uh, to go there uh and know what you are buying you might find it funny though that eventually i bought a sauce that I had no idea what it was. He just saw something that looks nice and with the vegetables. I told myself, nice, it's probably going to fit. I don't know. I actually searched for something a little bit sweet, you know, kind of sweet, sour. But I was, <laughs> the app eventually didn't help me to find the sauce that I needed and just looked at the images and tried to, uh, you know, see whether it looks good and look at the color of the sauce. And eventually this what was uh, uh, made me decide to buy a specific product, uh, not the translation, which was... Again, in this particular case, it didn't help me a lot. Now, if you look carefully, you can see that it's always changing, right? It's not something that just recognizes the text and as align it properly with the image. If you rotate it, it's gonna be aligned, uh, you know, on the product and because it's continuously changing, it's quite confusing, right? If Google, for example, uh, knows a, a specific translation, uh, it should be like uh, properly aligned to the product so uh, uh, instead of just uh, seeing things changing all the time words changing you can actually some see something that you know eventually gets static and the experience was kind of dancing words I would call it you know many words uh, some of them translated properly some not but again you need to ask yourself if it was useful I would say mm, partially all right because again it helped me for some things but if i wanted to do this again i got tired because again i got tired because i need to spend time pointing the phone to the products and if you could just come and you have several products and you just want to see something specific uh about a specific product it's not a problem you're going to do it in a few seconds probably going to get an idea and you're going to translate well and you're going to just decide which product you want to take among three of them but just searching among many products it wasn't a good experience for example, if I had an allergy for a specific ingredient, of course I wouldn't count on Google Translate on this particular app in order to uh, uh, to make me be sure that a specific uh, product doesn't have that, this ingredient or has this ingredient. So I was continuing shopping and doing my things uh, and I just kind of hope that eventually we're going to have uh, this app will get better and better uh, with better recognition, text recognition and uh, we're going to have these types of apps uh, in air glasses so instead of holding devices and putting the basket down and holding the device i can just walk throughly uh, uh, alongside the shelf same translation decide what i want to buy and it's going to be a, a fun easy and useful experience now for some things it works quite well like this tomato but i actually don't need a translation for this i see it's a tomato anyway as you can see it is useful, but again, it's not something that many people would just, uh, just use because it's kind of bothersome, you know, to do this. Just taking the phone and just pointing out to different types of products. It's not that com comfortable. But this is the best that I came across. <laughs> Maybe there are better apps I'm going to search. Um, but just keep in mind, of course, this is useful for many things, right? For example, instructions. Uh, for example, I picked up something about museum in... Uh, uh, in Osaka and it's in Chinese I didn't find it in English so I can use Google I take I actually took it and I can use it in order to translate it into um, into English so I can understand that uh, so it's good for many things for example I have uh, instructions of things here how to operate something like you know, the washing machine or something and uh, it's in Japanese I can translate it again for many things there are text and you need translation uh, you can use it. You don't need to rely on other people. Uh, but in some cases, of course, you can see the translation is not, in general, it's not reliable, right? So probably in things that are more important, you probably want to get someone to uh, translate uh, for you a certain thing or just, you know, ask questions. All right, let me just show you a batch of translation, one after the other, so you can see how it translates. So without walking and everything. So 
as you can see when I walk close to a sticker or something or any text you know um, on the product I actually need to stop align the text properly and let uh, the uh, the translation uh, take place I can just if you want for example just to take uh, to do it carefully and spend time reading you need to take an image and then you have time you can just press single words or phrases or even let Google translate everything and you can spend time reading on it uh, the reason why it's useful because I don't know if you wear glasses or if you have uh, for example a small text or the product is below you don't want, you can't even you can pick it up so you for example if there's something heavy on the floor I just take a picture and then bring this up and then you can take a look I know, there are some other things that uh, you can benefit from it that's why you have this uh, uh, the ability to capture an image there's a button a camera button we can just press capture an image and Google will translate the text there and it's going to highlight the certain uh, words that it detected that can be translated and you can press each one or again as I said translate everything uh, with a single uh, click actually when I use it I actually uh, do the select all and translate all because uh, again it doesn't do a good job in really translate one-on-one -on -one. so if I see all the text I can get uh, the idea what this product is about so that's why I use it uh, most of the time so this is it this is my review of um, this uh, Google translation app the augmented reality translation uh, which you can try yourself go and download it right now many of you probably already have the app installed uh, you just need to launch it up and try to translate things yourself and see how well it works for you if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe more cool content is coming so make sure you press the bell button to get notified when I release uh, a new video this is it I'll see you next time guys have a great day bye bye